Musk reinstated the former president just minutes ago. This is President Trump's Twitter page here. Until tonight, it had said account suspended. Earlier tonight, Musk posted a poll on Twitter asking if people thought Donald Trump should be allowed back on the service. Musk says the results showed that people wanted Trump to return. He tweeted this, the people have spoken, Trump will be reinstated, Vox Populi, Vox Dei, which is Latin and means the voice of God, or sorry, the voice of the people, the voice of God. Twitter's previous management suspended Trump indefinitely just days after the January 6th Capitol insurrection. I want to bring in CNN media analyst and media reporter for Axios, Sarah Fisher, with us now on the phone. Uh, we were just talking about Twitter here in the last hour or so, Sarah, this big development now. Uh, what do you make of this news? Well, I'm actually surprised, Brianna, because per our conversation earlier, I thought Elon Musk would wait until Facebook made this call in January. But it seems that he was eager to move forward. He did this Twitter poll. Many millions of people voted. And the last time I checked, it wasn't really a wide margin. It was about 52 percent of people who voted in the poll said that Donald Trump should be reinstated. And Elon Musk, moving quickly as he does, very quickly reinstated Donald Trump after that poll. Yeah, I mean, this is a Twitter poll, right? This is not a scientific poll. This is an online poll. And so to borrow a question from my colleague Oliver Darcy, he said, what happened to the content moderation council that Musk said, you know, only last month he'd be instituting? What do you think? Well, it's funny, Brianna, because... Earlier, he had already instituted accounts that were permanently banned, including Kathy Griffith, author Jordan Peterson, the Babylon Bee. And so he had been foreshadowing this move of reinstating accounts, making policy decisions without the council. So I can't say I'm totally surprised that he's doing it unilaterally now. But it does bring into question whether or not Elon Musk is going to govern by the hip moving forward. <laughs> Despite promising advertisers he was going to wait for that council, Brianna, it doesn't seem like that's the case. I wonder, Sarah, if you think there are going to be any boundaries on Trump, because we've seen uh, Trump has shown, even after January 6th, where he saw the effect that his language could have, and he saw the effect his language could have even in getting people to leave the Capitol, uh, you know, as it pertained to violence. Uh, he, he's seen this. Do you think that there will be any boundaries placed on him as he shows this propensity to use language that is questionable when it comes to violence? Honestly, not really, for two reasons. One, Elon Musk has said that he doesn't plan to take down a lot of content, but limit the reach of things that he considers to be violence or hate speech. But when it comes to misinformation, I mean, Elon Musk himself has shown a propensity to lean into conspiracies. You'll recall he tweeted a link to a false article about Paul Pelosi a few weeks ago and then quickly deleted it under advertiser pressure. So I can't see him going after Donald Trump's account for things that might be false or misleading. Now, if there's something that his team considers to be or he considers to be hate speech, that could be something where he says he would limit the reach of it, meaning algorithmically he wouldn't boost it in people's timelines, but he says he won't remove the actual content. 